Good day to you. Uh, I'm standing in a, uh, an air-conditioned and fan-filled room, which is fortunate. Um, it's not going to be a super hot day in Bakersfield today. It's only going to be 103. But um, what's really heated up a lot of people in this nation, including myself, is that the President of the United States yesterday announced, and he's been alluding to it for a long time, that we should postpone the election in November of 2020. Now, f for a little perspective, we in the United States have been observing regularly scheduled presidential elections every four years since 1788. That is 236 years ago. Now, what is Donald Trump's pretext for stepping on democracy? It is the still without any evidence, uh, his charge that uh, there's going to be widespread voter fraud if to uh, protect ourselves during the pandemic, which I would call, rather than the China virus here in the United States, I believe it should be called the Trump virus. So uh, in order to avoid the ravages of the Trump virus, we are going to be uh, having more uh, mail-in ballots than usual. Now listen, four years ago we didn't have the Trump virus or the coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. We didn't have that. Um, uh, but we, what we did have before the election, we had Donald Trump alleging, because he thought he was going to lose, um, and would have if FBI Chief James Comey hadn't interceded in his behalf. And started quite belatedly a, a, another investigation of Hillary Clinton, who was a warmonger, but that's a different matter. At any rate, the President of the United States wants to take away our democratic rights. And I think that that proves a lot of things. Number one, it proves that Trump is losing. Number two, it proves that he knows he's losing. Number three, it proves that he is very desperate. And number four, it proves that he's so desperate. He's, to, he's prepared to step on what we, uh, most of us, hold most dear, and that is our freedom. Are we really going to give away our freedom to this bloated, egotistical ignoramus? Are you kidding me? If Donald Trump gets more than 40% of the vote in this nation, that is about 35% too much. This nation, and I hope Republicans as well, uh, are not going to give up our freedom. This is a farce. We've got to be on our toes. We can get rid of this guy legally in November, and then he'll be out in January.